Welcome back to the channel. I am Lady Nika, and with last night's episode of um, Growing Up ATL, child, I'm gonna try to do this a little bit different. I mean, I'm getting views and whatnot on on the videos, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna try to remember that this is a girl, this is somebody egg child, and not give her as much grief as I normally do. Um, I had people really, some people was upset with me. Some put it in the comment section of the videos and some people decided they were going to hit me up. Uh, which I appreciate, you know, because you could have put that shit in my comment section and, and then you'd have got blocked and banned and, and then you'd have been cussed out and all that other stuff. However, you, you came to me, you know, um, privately and stated that you felt like I was a little bit too harsh in my, um, in my depiction of uh, Regine. I want to say this. Let me tell you something. The only, I, I'm a the way I do my videos here on YouTube is I call the situation down the middle. I call it exactly how I see it. In that moment of what I have been presented of Regine, she is not a respectful young person. She is very ugly and she can be downright nasty at times. I am not going to give her a pass because she's a child because Truth be told, a girl just turned 18, graduated from high school, and she stayed dipping in ground clothes business. So when you do that, you, 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 what you say to me is that you old enough to be able to take whatever backlash that come up against you. But for the people who felt like I was a little bit harsh on her, I'm going to tone it down, but I'm still going to call it like it is. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't care who child she is. If this was my child, she wouldn't be on national TV portraying me like this. Now, we open back up with Deb basically trying to talk to Brandon uh, about he let Regine get up under his skin. Okay? They got up under each other's skin. And that's not smart for business or personal. Now, he felt like she was coming at him. He, he told her he wanted his mom and not the business woman. However... I think she tied both of those situations into one when she was explaining to him the business side and it can be pretty fickle at times. You know, she also was saying, you know, when you do this kind of stuff, this opens the door for the family members to be brought in because you brought up her father and you brought up the Black Lives Matter movement. And all of that is a sensitive subject to resonate. Okay. I understand that she is a child and she popped off. But you have to think about the long-term effects. First of all, you're in this business as a vocal coach. You cannot pay attention to somebody that ain't on your level, okay? He got mad and went so far as to tell her he wasn't going to be talked to in that way. And Deb said, you know what? She talked to the hand. And she wanted her mic off. Because he didn't want to listen to what she was saying. I think Deb was trying to explain that he shouldn't have given Regine that much power over him. You know. Now, let's talk about Bow Wow for a minute. Uh, he told Brandon that kids today don't know the business well. And they step out they step out of line all the time. You know. And say stuff. But later, when you clap back at them, they tend to run to their parents when they confronted with the real. He advised Brandon to talk to Zoni because she's the one that he works with and not Regine. He also invited Brandon to a strip club. Child, I was like, whatever. Now, Brandon and Zoni, they met up and she was saying that he was wrong. Um... Nothing about Regine being wrong was said in that meeting, okay? But in my opinion, they both equally is wrong. But thank God that there is an Ayana and a Shania on this show. And for the young people, they got some sense about they self. They, they said they both was wrong in how they handled their interactions with each other. Now, I felt like Zani wasn't fair, especially since she didn't really hear everything that happened, okay? I felt like she went off of Regine's story, and we all know Regine lied. She basically started that, that argument with him, and when he snapped back at her, then she wants to cry wolf, okay? See, my opinion about this is Zonique was supposed to have checked her from the gate, okay? Because she is the one that invited him. And we don't know, you know, what their conversation was when he received that invite. She could have told him to come down there because she wanted. And we later on find that he is way more involved, apparently, in her career as 
uh, more than just being her vocal coach. So when he came in and he began to critique, it was disrespectful for Regine to say, who are you? Because apparently, just because you don't know him, but he's worked with some people from what I gathered from this show. And in order for him to work for them people, apparently somebody thought that he was going, you know, he knew what he was doing. So for her to ask, who are you, that was disrespectful in itself. She got this thing where she don't seem to realize that when, even if when you saying that, it's a double-edged sword, girl. Because you sitting there saying, who is he, and calling him a fan and all that. So you downplaying a fan. If it wasn't for the fans, your daddy would not be where he is today. He, It wasn't him by himself and him just rapping and made him famous and put money in his pocket so that he could dote on you and make you the spoiled little brat that you are right now. It's the people who respected him enough and cared enough about his craft to invest in him. And investment, I mean, they, they sit their ass up and they go buy his music, okay? And they go to his concert. So simmer down, little girl, when it comes to stuff like that because you did wrong, okay? So, uh... Like I said, she was wrong for doing that, okay? Zonique needs to take a stand. She too damn meek. I, I don't understand. Now, we find out in this episode that Ayana is a member of the LBGTQ community. We find out that she's got this girlfriend. She's from New York. And if you ask me, they ain't got no real issues between them. I think all of this, she ain't answering my phone call. She ain't answering no texts. was just a clever way that we TV found to introduce two things. This girl is gay and that's the fact that she, you know, her girlfriend was going to come on. Now, Shania and Ayana was together talking about the uh, proposing the idea for a girls' night out. And Ayana really not wanting to go because she see she don't want no issues with Regine. Zonique and Regine both already act like Ayana tried it. And she did. She told her cousin, Brandon, to cheer because she didn't want to get shit to get off out of hand with them, okay? Regine was really uh, doing too much, if you ask me, okay? I know that some, not all of this cast seem to have selected memory because Zonic and Re Regine claims about what went down on that, uh, in that last episode. It ain't, it ain't quite right. It's a little distorted. <laughs> but Ayana, she's calling it down the middle. Middle. Now, let's talk about the girls' night out with Shania. Uh, you can't let folk talk about, you can't let folks, uh, you got to just let people talk and hope for the best. Now, girl, sometimes when you see something going to the left, you got to stop it right then and there. You got to stop it and get people together about what the hell they doing. You have to get a grip on how things is going around you when it's centered around you, okay? Regine need to not be disrespectful and aggressive. And did y'all notice how when Ayana and Shania came in there, Regine with petting on his leg like that. Then, like, girl, you so grown. You so grown. But that's all you got. Okay? Now, Ayana did, in my opinion, last night, she she schooled that girl. She took her to school. She had her understand that, you know, you can't just do and say anything to people. Okay? She remained calm. And did you notice that Ayana spoke what she had to say directly to Regine? Whereas Regine, she wasn't adult enough to tell this girl what she had to say. So she, you know, for my opinion, she talked her shit in the confessionals. Now you grown enough to come for adults, but you you coward back to your confessionals to to speak your truth. Why is that, girl? That girl was, she laid it out to you plain and simple that you can't be coming at folks like that. She ain't trying to do you nothing, but she ain't gonna, she felt like you shouldn't have been up in her cousin's face like that. That girl knew who to, Regine know who to play with. <laughs> she, she, only thing she really said in that whole little time they was talking was that all she did was ask who he was. Girl, that was not your business to ask him who he was. And Ayana told her, don't walk up on her cousin like that. That. In fact, she told her girl, in the way the world works today, you might not want to walk up on no man like that because they not going to, everybody ain't going to just be like, okay, that's Wayne's little daughter. Now, you need to stop that before you wind up getting hurt, okay? Regine need to slow her roll because she 18 now. That's another reason why. Now, you can't, you know, 
to many real adults, that ain't considered to be an adult. But girl, you are considered an adult. Your ass can vote. You can die for your country. And you can buy cigarettes. You grown, okay? So you need to realize basically what Ayana was telling her in that moment is look. Loose lips sink ships. You need to you need to walk like pimping. You can't come for everybody and expect them to tower down and allow you to say and do whatever it is you want to do to them because you Lil Wayne's daughter because you ain't famous, girl. Your daddy is the one that's famous. Let's just put it out there, okay? Now, Tiny called Brandon to talk about the situation, and he, you know, She, basically, it, they were trying to say that Brandon came and originally wrong and she had to clap back. <laughs> <sighs> this show aggravated me so bad last night because everybody got selected memory except for Dale and Ayana. Ayana got the most sense out the young people and Dale got the most sense out these adults that's parading on this show. <laughs> He didn't come at her and start nothing with her. She started with him. And if Zanika find her voice and stop being so lost in the sauce, things like that wouldn't have never happened. Now, Deb and Brandon did meet back up to talk. And he saying he feels Zanika's not progressing. And Deb told him a real truth. She said the girl has had everything handed to her. You got to push her. Which shut some of the naysayers down who were saying that Brandon was too harsh on Zanika. No, he wasn't. If that's his job to pull the greatness out of her, then he got to be a little harsh, okay? Later on, when they met up, he was trying to explain it to her. He told her straight up, "She, you want to be successful, but you don't want to do the work to be there. What, what, what's your last, what was your last hit? Now, I think that he could have, because he was, he was steady hitting her with questions. He was he was he was touching her. He was touching and agreeing with her spirit so much so that she went to crying. Now let me show you how I do things opposed to how he handled it. Once she began to cry, a true breakthrough could have happened in that moment with Regine. I mean with Zani. She's frustrated. That girl being prep been being prepped to be in this business since she was eight years old, and now she ain't got no team. We found out in this scene, there's no team, Tiny, her manager, and she got Brandon. That's why he down to the, the studio, uh, the, the vocal studio, trying to get her together and make sure she right. That's why he down to the photo shoots, putting his pieces in about how she's being, you know, about Brandon and things like that. He obviously has taken on a bigger role than what is really being said, and she need him. But she's so busy, afraid that if she if she take a stand, she going to offend and upset somebody. Damn offended and upsetting somebody. To get where you got to go, sometimes the people in your life can't go with you. And sometimes you got to put distance between yourself with other people. Okay, Regine may be one of them folks that you need to do that with. Okay, what I didn't understand was... When he saw that that door had opened, because her breaking down was her, that door opening, I think that if he would have been smart about it, he could have went from being her vocal coach to her friend again in that moment. And it would have resulted in her understanding better what she needs to do to get her career started the way she's been wanting to do for years. She's angry at her mama because her mama ain't helping her. That's what I got out of there. If y'all ain't get that, then y'all put it in the panty. And to prove that she needed that help and she want that help, why do you think she asked for Deb's number and wants to get some of Deb's contacts? Because she ain't got nobody. Her mama not focused on that. And I mean, she probably really ain't focused on it now because her group didn't got back together and they about to get out there and do some touring. She can't focus on her daughter. And it ain't, ain't fair, but it, it is what it is, you know? I was just real confused a lot in this episode. Uh, it just, it seemed like it was such a big distorted. Everybody, it seemed like some of the people on here, remembrance about what happened at that photo shoot was distorted as hell. That ain't what I saw. 
I mean, are y'all actually gonna make us feel like we we sitting up on this TV? I mean, sitting up watching this TV show, and and what we see ain't what we see. Huh, child. I'm pretty much over it, child. She was upset and she angry and coming at Brandon, but honestly, I think she's mad more at Tiny than anything else, okay? <sighs> this It, it piques your interest, but then last night was just confusing because I'm like, what the hell is really going on? So, we get to the point where it's time to have Deb's little food drive that she be having. Now, Zonique says she ain't going. So, Tiny go in her place. Toya there. They wind up talking, and I didn't like that who is branding shit yet again that Toya was talking. How much she Googled and nothing came up. Addressing his credentials. Why? <laughs> he obviously came to do the job. Okay? Tiny told her, told, Tiny told Toya that she thinks they both just went too far and got on each other's skin, and now they need to get together and work that shit out. Child. Then Deb came over uh, to talk to Toya. And Toya says she know her child after Deb started saying what she's saying. And one thing, let me tell you what I did see. Deb went back and looked at the footage. Tiny didn't bother to do that and Toya didn't bother to do that. Because when Deb started telling her what she saw. And I know she did it because she said if you go back. So that means she looked at that, Okay. I was like, if you knew your, if you gonna sit here and say, well, I know my child, then that means that you know your child sometimes embellishes. So when she gave you the story, why didn't you be smart enough to go do what they have did? It just didn't make no sense. Why would you be, I mean, the girl was putting 20 on 10 for no damn reason. Talking about her, she, she know how her child can be. I was done. Dale told her, uh, and she looked back at it, she was going to see that uh, she was going on Brand, going in on Brandon for a minute. That statement, like I said, did me to believe that Deb went back and looked at the footage. And all Toya could say was she did. <laughs> then Toy Tiny, who I felt like really just shouldn't have had nothing to do with this. Because one day one of your children really involved in that, that argument part of it. She going to jump in. And now you got Deb and you got Toya and Tiny both talking to Deb. Just one fucking person. When she's trying to address them individually. And Deb wind up asking her to hold up a minute. And that's when Toya wants to pop off talk about, uh, that's my sister. Uh, I, I, she can talk. I, was, I know who she is. I don't know who you is. Well, girl, that's the purpose of sitting there with a grown-ass woman. As a grown-ass woman yourself and talking to her. Because if you talk to her, you'll realize who she is and how she get out. It was no reason for Tiny to insert herself into that conversation. She should have shut up and allowed y'all to talk through this. Because really, it's your, it's her daughter and her son that had the issue. Your daughter was just like there. But it wasn't about her. And I think that Toy, Tiny should have stayed her ass out of it, okay? If she hadn't, if she would have stayed out of it. Uh, Deb wouldn't have gathered her motherfucking ass. Uh, I'm not to be up, I'm not about to get up under you, Toya. And Brandon and Ayana was over there on the side. They seen it was about to get heated, so they stayed back. The same thing that Tiny should have done. Just shut up. You inserted yourself. And that's the reason why shit went like it did. Now, next week, it's going to pick back up at them at their table talking and stuff. I've got to tell y'all, uh, by a while, <laughs> I left his ass out because I'm over him, too. But he didn't do shit. He went to visit this strip club. He wound up getting drunk, showed up two hours late to the studio, and forgot his damn lyrics. And even after Jermaine had told him, you, you need to know your lyrics. Child, that just was a lot. That was just a whole lot. I mean, you know, clearly he ain't serious about doing nothing. And I think he know his time has, you know, his his time has ended. He needs to let go, let go, and be all right with that. Reggie, they need to grow the fuck up and be guided in the way that's going to be helpful to her as a young woman. I mean, it should have been happened, but her mom and daddy better get a grip on her because it's going to come a day and a time where she's going to pop off at the wrong person and they're not going to give two dams about Lil Wayne's daughter. They're going to give her the business and it is what it is and you just going to have to sit back and take that. I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. 
I don't, y'all. And Toya, if you're going to sit down with Miss Deb, you need to be willing to listen and not be heard so quickly, okay? Sometimes you just got to calm down. And Tiny needed to have stayed the fuck out of there. I hope when we watch it next week that she don't continue to talk. Because Toya and, and Deb was on the same page. They were starting to work that mess out when Toya I mean Tanya decided to put her butt in the middle of it and why you talking girl ain't none of y'all passing the information on like it really went Bow Wow gave a wrong depiction of what really went down Tiny is giving a wrong depiction of what went down. Regine, no, she lying. She giving a wrong depiction. But nobody's bothering to go back and look at the footage. Deb, the only one that has sense enough to go back and look at that damn footage and say, oh, okay, I call bullshit. I'm here for Deb for that. I really am. I'm here for Deb for that. Excuse me. But uh, that's all. That was all I wanted to discuss uh, about this episode. If y'all feel like I left something out and y'all want to discuss it further, please feel free to leave it down in the panic. Remember, the depth of your struggle will always determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. I'll see you guys back Monday. Have a great weekend. Peace.